it is a serious matter, it's a serious issue, and it is a matter that the government must talk to the nation on this issue. I understand that there are some people who are advising the government that we should revert back to a dictatorship government. And I don't think whether Kenyans will accept that. It is so sad that you took your own child to the institution of high learning and he or she is brutalized on account of freedom that is enshrined in our constitution as far as picketing and demonstrations are concerned. We have moved from that era where people used to be clobbered. We have moved from that era where people used to be detained. We have moved from that era where people used to be hated on account of their political affiliation. And we should not revert to that. And I'm appealing to the young men, two young men, our head of state, His Excellency the President, and his deputy, not to allow that to happen. They shouldn't allow that to happen. The history will charge them harshly. Police officers, during daytime or at night, to enter into our institution of high learning, the Nairobi University is one of the best universities in the world and the most respected institution of high learning in this country. Why do you want to make Kenyan parents to become afraid of taking their children to Nairobi University? I myself, I have sponsored 34 Kenyan students from poor families to various universities. And in Nairobi University, I have six children. And I have every right as a parent, as a labor leader, who represents the people who pay tax taxpayers of this country, the laboring poor, their children are in that university. And I must talk. I'm appealing to the president and the government at large to come out clean and clear and tell the nation who ordered the GSU officers to enter into the university and clobber children, some who are innocent, some who didn't participate in those demonstrations. And even if they demonstrated, that is their constitutional right. We must respect the constitution of this country. And if there is any daydreamer who is thinking that this will be a dictatorship state, he will be in for a root shock. That is what all.